Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, I'll explain about the principles behind Agile Manifesto. So there are 12 key principles behind the Agile Manifesto and all these principles are the key for any Agile development project. So I'll cover each principle um, one by one and explain a bit more detail what each principle um, tries to explain or what what exactly you need to do when you are trying to follow each of these principles. So the first principle says our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. So what that means is that if you're following agile development methodology, the priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of the valuable software. So one of the agile methodology scrum uh, is, uh, if you follow scrum, you deliver the software in the sprints, uh, or you deliver a working software or working code within the sprint, and then you have smaller releases, which is like a couple of months you release the software. So after a sprint, you give a demo to the customer. Uh, once you give a demo of a working software to a customer, you get an early feedback. So that's the first principle of the Agile development methodology. So because you are following um, uh, smaller delivery cycles, then and you are demoing the product uh, to the customer, you get an early feedback, and which is kind of um, a feedback for um, continuous improvement and. Uh, continuous delivery of the valuable software. So the second principle is um, welcome changing requirements even late in development. Agile processes harness change for the customer competitive advantage. So what this means is that even if you are late in the development cycle, so since Agile is more of a iterations uh, one after the other. So even if you are late in the cycle, the feedback or the change uh, from the customer's uh, perspective uh, is always welcome in, in agile development methodology. Because uh, tomorrow or or when you when you start a project, you might not know after six months down the line what would be the uh, the key things that are going on in the market. So a consumer might or customer. Uh, might come back saying I want more features or or I want to tweak cer certain things in the software and when you are following agile you should have that flexibility to tweak it uh, and deliver the value to your customer so changing requirement is always welcome in the agile methodology while in waterfall development methodology it was considered as a big change and there was a cost impact and it used to be uh, come as change request uh, later in the development cycle if there was any change required by the customer. Uh, the third value is uh, deliver working software frequently from a couple of weeks to a couple of months with the preference of short, shorter time scale. So that's another key value or key principle uh, that you deliver the software, working software frequently and that's what happens in Scrum development or uh, if you're following Scrum uh, for your software development, that you have smaller cycles of two to four weeks, which are known as sprints, and you start developing a code and you have a working software after those sprints. So that working software then can be, uh, is, is built iteratively um, and in, in increments, and then a couple of months, you are ready to deliver something uh, as working piece of software to your end user. And that's where uh, it reduce, reduces um, the whole long time timelines to shorter time scale. And then you keep building the software incrementally. So rather than building a huge giant ship um, all together at once, you start with, you know, like a boat and then keep incrementally uh, or you, you start with a bit of structure. Uh, and then you keep building it incrementally uh, and keep adding the features to make it a huge, huge boat uh, as, as such. Uh, the fourth principle is around the business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project. 
and that's the key uh, thing to follow in agile or key principle that business and developer development team need to work daily uh, to get the details they they need to be on the same page to understand what exactly a business is looking for and what development team is delivering so uh, the more the interaction between business people and technical people the more clarity there will be around what a technical team is um, supposed to deliver to add value to the business uh, stakeholders uh, fifth value fifth principle is around building build projects around motivated individuals give them the give them the environment and support they need and trust them to get the job done now this principle says that you hire the right set of people in your team to deliver any project and then do not micromanage so you you micromanage micromanagement uh, hampers or impact the motivated individuals and they'll eventually move out of your organization or out of your project because uh, all the motivated individuals they they like working independently and they'll deliver your project in the best possible way if they are self motivated and you have once you have done your due diligence to hire the right motivated people to deliver a project do not micromanage and let them um, have their own ideas um, because they are the expert in their field so have their their own ideas and deliver what you are expecting from them it doesn't mean that you do not need to um, monitor the work you need to monitor the work but micromanagement is not recommended in um, agile principle the sixth principle is around uh, the most effective effic uh, efficient and effective method of conveying information to and within development team is face to face conversation so face to face conversation and collaboration within the team is the key uh, principle and sixth principle of the agile um, uh, which which forms the agile manifesto so as as previous you know like if you compare the way a communication used to happen a lot of emails and um, and creating uh, a lot of lengthy emails that's that's not the efficient and effective way if you want to get the approvals um, and want to move faster uh, in the software development to faster decision making then that's not uh, the recommended approach in agile principle so having face-to-face -face conversation getting uh, the decisions made instantly uh, is is the key principle in agile development now the seventh principle is working software is the primary measure of progress so agile development seventh principle says that only if you are getting a working software that's the primary measure of progress so it doesn't matter um, that you have documented a number of uh, pages or design document that's not the priority or, or it's, it's not the measure of a progress of an agile project. So every sprint, you need to deliver a working software. You need to show the feature that has been incrementally built. And that's the key um, measure of progress in agile. And that's the seventh principle um, of agile. Uh, eighth principle says agile processes promote sustainable development. The sponsors, developers, and users should be able to maintain a constant pace indefinitely. Uh, and what this means is that sustainable development or pace is important uh, of the team to deliver a big project. Uh, rather than burning the whole team and doing overtime, Agile doesn't support burning the team and doing overtime for a shorter span and then uh, the whole team getting demotivated uh, agile is around maintaining a pace within the sprints to deliver a working piece over the longer period of time and um, basically delivering what what is supposed to be delivered as part of that project without hampering um, the team velocity um, the ninth principle is around continuous attention to technical excellence and good design enhances uh, agility. So when um, 
basically when you're working on the code or um, something more concrete you want to make sure that after each iteration it's improving so each iteration you you analyze what has been done previously and in next iteration if there are some issues or there there uh, there is some better way to do the same thing you improve that in the next iteration itself rather than waiting um, till the end of the cycle so that continuous attention to technical excellence um, and good design is um, enhances the agility that's the ninth uh, principle of agile uh, tenth principle says around simplicity uh, the art of maximizing the amount of work um, not being done is essential so simplicity is um, another principle of agile so if you are looking to move fast through the project then you are going to want to cut out unnecessary complexity so um, rather than having unnecessary complexities or be it you know like around the processes or um, other uh, things that the team usually uh, spends time on um, you can have better tools to manage um, manage the other clutter and the work that goes around in the project for example you can have better project management tool better tools to manage um, manage the testing or manage the continuous deployment those sort of things so you si you simplify the whole process uh, so that there is less effort from the team from everyone in the team around all those uh, less necessary things that are um, that are required to deliver the project um, the 11th principle is around the best architectures requirements and designs emerge from self-organizing team and that's where your if if you are um, planning to deliver a project uh, in agile methodology your part is to um, do um, is to hire a self-motivated team uh, uh, hire members who are self-motivated and form a self-organized team rather than micromanaging them and let them to act individually and independently so that everyone in the team has an ideas and can brainstorm and come up with the best uh, possible idea and solution to deliver the outcome or best deliver uh, best architecture and design and code um, which is the highest uh, quality uh, for your consumers uh, the, the 12th and last principle is at regular intervals the team reflects on how to become more efficient then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly so this means that at at a regular uh, interval be it you know like after each sprint or after two sprints there are retrospective meetings that happen with wherein everyone in the team sits together to analyze what went well what didn't went well so that you can actually improve uh, in the next iteration uh, things that didn't went well and what we should do as a team to improve and uh, be more efficient in the next cycle so in scrum retrospective meetings are held at regular intervals which is like every sprint end to ensure that whatever um, drawbacks or whatever uh, shortfalls were there in the prior sprint uh, the team overcomes that and doesn't re uh, don't don't repeat those mistakes again in the next iteration so these are main 12 agile principles um, which which are pretty much followed by each and every agile development project um, hope you like the video uh, please do share and subscribe to get more details and more videos uh, and updates similar to this thank you